Hi, this is Kara from Thornton Media. Today I'm going to show you our newest product, Language Pal 2.0. It features indigenous language on iPad. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the Cherokee demo. We do all demo on Cherokee language because that's uh, Don's um, friends and relatives. So uh, that, that's their voices. Here's the Cherokee iPad demo, Language Pal 2.0. Okay. Right here, you're going to see a, a language, cultural notes, search, and credits section. Language is where you learn the language. And then cultural notes is where you can put all the videos and stories, um, songs, uh, images of historical tribal leaders or current tribal leaders, and some, you know, uh, maybe beat work or basket weaving work, and also uh, videos, images, and audio sound files. And search is uh, it's kind of like a dictionary. You can actually search for words. And then the credits page is where we're going to put down the name of the narrators and also the model. And right here, you're going to you, you see a little girl holding a chalk. So you know she's kind of like standing in front of a, of a blackboard. So let's play with language first. So here we see a bunch of categories. You can just scroll up and down with your fingers. Let's play with the uh, fruits. And we're going to click on learn before we go to play with games and quizzes. So click on learn. So right here you see the, the Cherokee syllabary, but you can put your own font on there as well. Okay, you can actually record your own voice too with this record button. Okay, and then compare it with the narrator's voice. So that's how you practice. Now, next I'm going to show you games. On the game section, we have three levels, easy, medium, and hard level. Let's click on easy. So uh means yes in Cherokee, like yes you got it right. So notice that every time I got it right, I have uh, they gave me some points on the top right corner. You can see how many points I got. And I can actually, after playing with the game, I can actually email the score to myself. Or if you're a parent, you can email the score to, to you or um, to the teacher who is involved in the class. So I'm going to show you another kind of um, games right now. Let's play with the medium level game. Giga game. So now it's just going to ask you, Giga game, which one is it? Select the correct one. Uh, Sakoni game. Uh, Sakoni game is Gola. And it's going to keep giving you more and more uh, as you get it all correct. So that's the medium level game. I'm going to show you the the heart level game. So you're supposed to select it from your memory, but in your language. So I got it right. Correct. I got it wrong. This is the this is very hard because you have to memorize it in Cherokee. So that's the heart level game. So now I'm gonna show you the the games um, in the, the quizzes section. 
Under the quizzes section, we also have three different quizzes. We have the listening quiz, speaking, and the reading quiz. So we believe that um, the first step to learning a language is to listen to the language. And so that's the first button, and then learn how to speak it. And the last one is to learn how to read and write it. So let's play with the listening quiz right now. God testing. So I'm supposed to pick the correct one. Let me see. God testing. So I got it wrong, and it's going to keep asking me until I get the correct one. God testing. Ooh, pretty bad on this one. God testing. Okay. Adi toti. Adi toti. So that's the listening quiz. And I'm going to show you the speaking quiz right now. So it, it shows me a picture of a buffalo, and I'm supposed to speak in Cherokee what is a buffalo. So I should record myself and then compare it with the narrator's voice. Yatsa. 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 Okay, so I got it right. So I can click on the next one. Chikoya. 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 Okay, so she has this ch chikoya. So I'm going to practice again. Chikoya. 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 Okay, so I'm getting close, but I still have a lot to practice. Okay, so that's the speaking quiz. Weisa. Wei sa. Wei sa. Wei sa. Okay. So that's the speaking quiz. The next one is going to be the read reading quiz. So let's play with the reading quiz. And um, you're supposed to be able to learn how to read your um, Cherokee syllabary before you can play with this quiz. Um, the word again. Okay, I'm just guessing, again. I actually do not know. Uh, so. Okay. I think it's other lawn again. So. Oops. So. Okay. Sakonige uskola. Okay. Sakonige uskola. Okay. So. So. Adahalige. Okay, Adahalige. So, as you can see, you need to know how to read. Um, the language before you can play with this quiz. Okay, so that's the games and quizzes and the learn buttons right here. And I'm gonna show you right now the culture notes. So this is the culture notes section. Okay, audio is where you put your stories and songs. And then we also have video, and you can put videos of, um, you know, how people do beat work or you know, powwow videos like uh, the, 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 fancy dance or um, how to weave baskets and then images is where you can put um, historical images of your um, of, of your people or um, tri current tribal leaders or historical tribal leaders so we have three places where you can put all your cultural notes and let's take a look at audio for now so let's um, play with this song it's this bitsy spider Usti kana neski ame yedagwa du Kiska luja ale Ajila aneha Aneya we do yo heya uni ni gaga Ale usti kana neski si aya hata luja Okay, so you can, you can record yourself singing the song and practice Usti kana neski ya me ye dagwa du Kiska luja ale Akina aneha aneya we do yo hiya uni ni ganga ale usti kana neski di ya ya hacha luja Usti kana neski ya me ye dagwa du kiska luja ale akina aneha Ane yo, we do yo, hiya uni ni ganga. 
Ale usti kananenski di yaya haja luja. Okay. So um, you can practice, you know, saying stuff like a pledge or speech or um, your, you know, your songs or stories in your language. So that's a great, good way to practice in the privacy of, of your own home or office or in a class or in the library, you know, in a, in a private room. So we also have, uh, let's take a look at Amazing Grace. This is um, uh, Amazing Grace sang by uh, Don's grandma. Don is the owner of the company. And when we recorded with his grandma, she was 86 years old. Right on her, we recorded right on her kitchen table. She's 90 years old now and she's still very strong. But this is, this is a great um, uh, example of how we can also put the uh, English uh, explanation on this uh, on on this page right here, so you can understand what is the English translation if you want. But if you want to make it really tough for your students, you don't have to add English. But this is just an example of what we can do. So let's play the song. <laughs> So that's an example of cultural notes. We were, we're going to add some videos and images to this module later on. And let's take a look at search. So this is kind of like a dictionary, you know. So let's say if you wake up in the middle of the night and you don't know how to say, you know, dog, you can actually type in dog and you bring, up, you bring up dog and you can learn that way. Geethly. Okay, so this is kind of like a dictionary. And we also have the credits page. This is where you, you're going to put down who your speakers are, you know, give them credits and you know, where you get pictures from or put the, your tribal logo there and the website to your language department. So here's the credit, uh, that example of the credits page. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about this little girl here. That's Allison. She's um, Don's niece. She's half Navajo and half Cherokee. Her dad's Cherokee. And, um, now, you can actually put a picture of your tribal member or, commu or community member from your First Nation or reserve, um, you know, and um, you can you know, you can put it uh, maybe in the cultural notes, you know, dress her up a little bit, or you can even put a little picture of a little boy or a young lady or, or a young man, it's up to you. So you can customize it to your tribe or First Nation. So it's very customizable. So of course, um, what I'm showing you now, this is all very basic stuff, you know, it's almost for, uh, it's really for beginner learners, but we can also um, make a level two and level three, a four, five, whatever you want, we can make it, um, we can add grammar and sentence structure to the later versions of this app. So this is just the beginning um, uh, demo of this app. So this is LanguagePal 2.0. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy it.